All parties in the matter of Ambert versus Cissé, step forward. Margarita Ambert is suing her ex-roommate, 25-year-old Anita Cissé, for kicking her out after living together for only three days. She is asking for the return of rent. Miss Amber, you and the defendant, I think, were co-workers, and you needed a place to stay. She rented a room to you. The rent was $400 a month? Yes. According to you, you stayed there only three days, and she evicted you. She says you were actually there practically the entire month of January. You breached the terms of the lease because you were using drugs, and you had drugs in her home. And she told you to leave. You were there until the 20th of January, and you're not getting any rent back. On what date did you move in? January 2nd, 2015. Did you sign an agreement with her? Yes, I did. Do you have a copy of it? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at it. OK, so this is pretty specific. It's $400 a month. It was very clear that the defendant didn't want anybody sleeping over. She didn't want any drugs or alcohol in the house. That's mentioned twice. And she says that the reason she asked you to leave was because she found drugs in your room. Is that true? No, Did she that find is not. drugs in your room? No, ma'am. Okay, so all is in your court. Your Honor, um, I know Miss Margarita from a work. And um, out of nowhere, at what, 2 o'clock in the morning, she called me. Her boyfriend kicked her out. She needed a place to stay immediately. That's I'm like, okay, I have a toddler. I got off the bed, went and picked her up. Before I even parked in my parking spot, I told her, I am a Muslim. I do not do drugs or alcohol. I have an infant. I don't allow that. Okay. I just want to know whether you found drugs in her room. I did. Yes, I did. When did you find drugs in I her room? I find it on the 14th of January 15th. Did you have a conversation with her about it on the 14th? I called her over the phone. She went, oh, I'm cooking dinner for my family right now, so I'll call you Where back. Where did you call her? I called her on her cell phone. Where was your family? I was actually in Tigard, where I lived, uh, well, where my boyfriend lives, and I was staying the night over there at his house. And you were cooking dinner? Yes, I was. Is that what you said to her when she but called? But it was not on the 14th. I don't care what day it was. What was the conversation when she called you? She never called me, ma'am. You just told me she called you, but you were at your she... boyfriend's house and you were cooking. She, you just told me that. She called me on the 13th. And? And, um, she, and I told her I couldn't talk because we just were having second. dinner. She called you on the 13th about what? She just wanted to talk. <laughs> That's what she told me. She said, hi, I just wanted to talk and see if what you were doing on your free time. I told her I'm cooking right now, so I can't speak. No. No. Didn't happen that way. No. OK. <laughs> Judge Go ahead. So you called her, and she said, I can't talk to you now because I'm cooking. I told her, Margarita, there's something I find, and we have a statement that says it's not allowed. So I'm going to ask you to leave immediately. If not, I will take your things and put it at the corner for you. She goes, I will call the cops. I said, that's fine by me. Call the cops. I want them to be present when you come to get your things. And? And she goes, well, I can't talk right now. Anyways, bye. OK. Well, what happened the next day? The next day, I send her a text message. This is your final warning that I will send your things out when I come from work, if I still meet your things in here. And she sends me a text, well, you're just trying to kick me out, blah, blah, blah. I do have all that copy if you want I'd like to, to see, see it. it. I'm asking you, what proof do you have that there were drugs in the room? Your Honor, I don't have any proof, but I did saw the drugs with my own two eyes. You put her out in the middle of the month. She stayed there for half a month. She paid you $400. You have to give her $200 back. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $200. That's all. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. I'm happy. I won. Well, she just gave him $200 to do some more drugs. I